Hello everyone and welcome back to A Better Biomed. Today's a quick and easy topic as we continue the sensors and medical equipment series. We're going to explore the optical interrupter sensor or photo interrupter as they're often called. The photo interrupter is actually a very basic and simple design. On one side there's an infrared LED and on the other side there's an infrared detector. As the sensor light becomes blocked the detector makes the output voltage go high, and when the sensor becomes unblocked, the sensor output voltage goes low. The computer can use this to figure out what the event is. Photosensors are used in a large variety of applications. They can be event detectors, like a door open interlock, which shuts down the device or throws an error code when the door is not closed, or they can be something as simple as a consumable detector, which detects when new consumables are inserted and it readies the device for another set number of cycles. When matched to slits on a strip or on a disc, these sensors can detect linear travel speed or linear distance, rotational speed or rotational distance. These configurations are often found on irrigation pumps, syringe pumps, and infusion pumps. Let's take a look at some real world examples. All right, let's take a look at a couple different applications for optical interrupters found in medical equipment. This one right here is a 360 degree camera. You can see the little sensor right there. That's our optical interrupter. And what does it do? It pokes through this hole. And as the camera rotates, you can see that there are different spaces to the gaps. You see that? and the different spaces actually are relative to its 360 degree rotation position according to the computer. So it knows exactly where it's at in relation to its range of movement based on that sensor right there. So it's not for RPM or for its distance that it's moved, it's more so for where it is in its realm of movement. Okay, so that's what this guy is. And that's why there is differences in the lengths. See them, how they're decreasing in size? That tells you, hey, you're going you're further, 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 and stop. See those two little short pulses right there? That's, a, that's your starting point, and it knows to go all the way around from there. So that's the first one. If you guys don't recognize this guy, maybe it's because I have it upside down. These are the motor assembly to the three-channel pump. A lot of you guys are probably very familiar with that, but what you might not have noticed, take a look up in here, under the plastic. You see this? Can my phone even get it? See that metal disc right here? Well, that metal disc, as I rotate this, there are some little tiny spaces in there. Oh. There they are. See those little tiny spaces? There they are. And what those are is those tell the pump how fast and how many times it has gone around. See how they're equally spaced on one side? That tells it its rotational speed and how many times it's gone around. So that actually tells the infusion pump not only how fast it's gone, but it will tell it if there's an occlusion. It'll tell it if there's a motor error, if the motor is not moving. That little guy right there will tell it how much it has infused based on how many revolutions it has made. So that's it. There's a tiny little optical interrupter right there, and it's on that circuit card at the very end. Very cool. Kind of hard to see because it's so tiny. You can see all the tiny, tiny little microscopic holes. So let's find one more application. You guys probably recognize this guy, UPDR80. Take a look right there. This is a medical grade printer and it uses an optical interrupter right there at the end of my finger to detect when the drawer is entered. But guess what? All these little flags that detect when the paper has gone through its path, those are almost always an optical interrupter flag. So as the paper comes through, it hits the lever, it 
unblocks or blocks the optical interrupter and it tells it, hey, you have a paper jam or we've completed the whole cycle. We're ready for the next page. So that's it. There's three applications. This one right here and this guy right here, right under that cover. There you have it, guys. Although these sensors are simple, relatively reliable, and maintenance-free, they're often easy to overlook. Since these sensors often detect some of the interaction with the users, they're often the source of that error you can't seem to clear from your device. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like these kind of videos, remember to hit that like button and please consider subscribing if you think I've earned your subscription today.